Hey guys, so nothing fancy, no special lighting or outfits or anything, but I do have my neon shorts on, which I think are super freaking cute. Um, I just want to take a second on this slow day to talk about filming. I remember being called out for my natural instincts, let's call it my behaviors, my wardrobe, my mannerisms. Because people were like, yo, you're not a porn set right now, stop it. Like you're Samantha Mac all the time. Like there's never any off time. And I was like, yeah, that's who I am. This is what I'm known for. And then I didn't realize until I took a step back that you don't have to be the character. Like it's okay for me to be a real person. And you know, I was really offended when people first said this to me. Yeah, I have to put my groceries away. <laughs> By the way, I only got two bags of groceries from Target with a $6 coupon, and this was $85. I'm just shocked and flabbergasted by the price of this. Although I did buy stupid stuff that was on sale, like tangy pickle chips. I was curious, I was curious. Guilty pleasure. I'm getting a ton of attention from the Eminem music video right now, which is awesome. I am grateful. I am grateful. There are a thousand people saying amazing things and being supportive and wonderful and talking about the nostalgia of the whole vibe. And then there's like a handful of people who are saying things like, oh, I imagine I know what I did, you did with him under the sheets or I bet hope he smashed you both at the same time or like just dumb shit like that. Nope, it was an entirely professional film set, but you can have your fantasy. And I was like, no, these are professional performers doing a professional job for entertainment. So to suddenly just be like, oh, I bet you were soaking his dick. That's how you got that job. And I'm just like, whoa, out of pocket. Like what makes you feel so comfortable disrespecting me? That's not cool. So I've done a lot to like politely redirect the attention of comments. Um, and I'm deleting stuff that's just blatantly disrespectful. And I have to acknowledge that there's like one or two disrespectful people for every thousand incredible humans. I understand why so many celebrities just take themselves out of the public eye altogether. Like they're not on social media. They don't answer messages. They do not engage because one entitled fan can just take it right off the deep end. There's a couple of people like, oh, are you mad at me? And I'm like, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. You got excited like a teenage boy finding the magazine in his dad's bedside drawer for the first time. You got excited, but this is social media. Everybody can read these comments. So let's just whoop, take a step back. <laughs> Remember, we're all just people. I'm an entertainer. You are enjoying entertainment. That's it. Whew. Calm down. Social media is social. <laughs> And people can be 14 and download these apps. So I have to remember there's a 14 year old audience watching these things. So I'm trying really, really hard to be mindful of the energy I'm putting in which places and not getting those mixed up. Even though Elon Musk just announced that porn is totally okay on Twitter, I'm not okay with that because you let 14 year olds download Twitter. So fuck you, Elon. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to navigate life and I don't know all the answers. I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, I am really, really grateful for that opportunity though. It was really, really dope to be um, in the number one most watched, most downloaded, most clicked on music video right now. That is so cool. It is so cool that everyone think that I'm cool just because I was next to somebody who was famous. Like it's a really interesting part of my life right now to be in. It's cool that reporters were calling me today. That's cool too. Um, it's cool that everyone who's interacting with me directly is so polite and respectful. And when I tell them, hey, my NDA was ironclad, I can't say this, that, or the other, they go, cool, I got you. I love that. I love the respect. Um, I want to do more. I want to do more music videos. I want to do more comedy shows. I want to do more movies and TV shows and commercials. I love that I'm being taken seriously as an actress. I love that people are down to have my motorcycle in movies because they know how much, you know, I'm trying to go in that direction, right? Like I'm just learning how to do cool shit with my motorcycle, but I am learning, gosh darn it. And so the fact that people are like, yeah, come along for the journey. We'll meet you where you are. 
grateful, 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 grateful. A week ago, people were not blowing up my phone the way they're blowing up my phone this week. Grateful, I am grateful. Like I'm changing my image and my reputation and I wanna be an actress and a model and I like the direction that I'm going in. And I like that I, you know, I'm an MC and a host of these events and I wanna continue down that road and I don't wanna do things that will pull me uh, away from that trajectory. And I said, you know, I'm cool to do a bikini pool shoot as long as there's context, not just two girls bending over, spreading their cheeks to show their phone for the camera. Like, let's be a little bit more creative. And not everybody thinks the same way I think. And some people want to bend over and show their butt cheeks to the camera. That's you. But for me and for where I want to go in life, that's not the, that would be a detour that takes me away from my goals. And today I was looking at my IMDb and it was gone. It turns out I'm shadow banned. Nobody wants to be associated with porn, right? So as much as I can defend that acting is acting, it just puts me in a shit position now where directors, casting agents cannot find my IMDb because I'm shadow banned. Sucks. So they, once again, there's a detour that took me away from where I'm going. Um, so I got to figure out, like, do I make another stage name? Do I become somebody else? Do I use my real name? Now here's the problem. If I use my real name, some fan is gonna go, oh gosh, Martha Jones is actually Samantha Mack. And then they'll tag everything. Martha Jones, Martha Jones, Martha Jones. If you're gonna say, hey, Sam Mack is coming to my birthday party or Sam Mack is coming to my, my, my baby shower, right? Baby shower. We are, we are being celebratory for a baby. And people are like, oh man, I saw this video. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> No, you didn't. We're here to celebrate a baby. All right? <laughs> like, time and place, time and place. And social media has kind of blended the time and place like crazy so people don't know how to act anymore. And when somebody knows somebody who knows me and they go, oh, man, it's so great to meet you. Aha, I saw you, you know, in that video with Sam or in, you know, you were shopping with her or you were reviewing Air One or whatever. And they shake the guy's hand and they sniff his fingers. Oh, so that's what a pussy smells like. Fuck you. You're a dick. Not funny. Okay? <laughs> Like, don't be rude. Don't treat me like that. I'm a person and I'm trying so hard to be a, a host, an MC, a comedian, an actress, a, a spokesperson, a stunt woman. Uh, uh, I don't know what I've already said, but those things. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard just to have some guy online be like, yeah, but look at those fat ass titties. So now I'm gonna get pulled off of YouTube because somebody commented shit on a video. Like, you guys have to act right. I'm trying real hard to act right. You gotta act right too. The fact that my comments on a video can have my video taken down, like, whew, just trying to succeed. And people have said to me, hey, call Tommy, because he was really good at this. Yeah, he's a man. People respect men. Sorry. They're like, oh, what about Joe? Because, you know, he's got credits on IMDb for this adult site, but then he also has all these credits for these YTV shows that he's done and kids shows that he's done and, you know, like cartoon shows that he's voiced. Mm-hmm. That's a man. People will respect a man and say, oh, he did porn, he's the man. Girl does porn, she's a hoe. Not right, <laughs> not fair, sucks. So here I am uh, at this part in my life <laughs> and I'm just telling everyone, like people go, oh, are those porn stars in bed with Eminem? Brian Keeley's a porn star. I am, I am long since retired, I'm working on acting and modeling, television, film, and motorcycle sets. Those are my focuses. And people go, oh damn, that's so cool. They just don't know. They only know what they've been flooded with. The information has been thrown in their face. So I'm trying to throw new information in their face. And along that journey, as I navigate this path of being Samantha Mac, who the fuck that is, and people are actually really receptive to it because it has been the norm for me just to not say anything and not engage. And then they're not, being stopped from that behavior. So if somebody is like, oh, I recognize you, so I saw those giant tits. I go, whoa, stop. Come on, I'm sure you recognize me for something else. And they're like, oh yeah, no, okay. And they check their behavior right away. So it's, it is up to me to also redirect attention. And uh, the redirect attention I allow, but it's a hard thing to do, you know? Like, it's just, I'm always like checking myself and checking everyone else. So, that being said, when I bring people from the adult industry into mainstream film, and I'm like, yeah, like my whole goal is to challenge the stereotype and prove that we are actresses and we are capable and we are multi-talented and the 
fill your resume with all the things you can do. Don't just do one thing because you're gonna get pigeonholed at 40 just with that one thing. Like, other people really wanna do this too. They, they love the idea of being in real movies. But then they pull their tits out on set and take selfies. That's not acceptable, it's not okay. You cannot pull your tits out on set. It's unprofessional. This is a professional movie set, no tits, okay? Even if somebody is hired to have their tits out, that person is covered and draped until the scene and then covered again. There is a, an etiquette that is mandatory. And so when I'm like, yeah, this girl's a great actress, you should have her, and then she comes to the set and she's hired to be fully dressed and just be, you know, her role, whatever that role is. And then you see on Twitter, hey! I just wanna bang my head against the wall. Like, you are you think you're having fun, but you've actually, like, disrespected me, you've disrespected the film set, the director, the, the actor who's been flown out and paid to be here, like, you can't act like that. You can't be on all the time. Like, you're not hired to be a porn star right now, you're hired to be an actress right now. You have to act like an actress act like a porn star. You aren't a porn star unless you're on set and the director says action and that's only on a porn set. When you're on a mainstream set and the director says action, your job is to do whatever action was in the script. I get sad and I get frustrated because right now we're living in a world where girls are told to be like fun dumb bimbos all the time and just constantly put out content where you know they're pulling up their skirt in the middle of a grocery store and acting a fool because they're being compensated on OnlyFans for it or on Clips for Sale or many vids or wherever. And there has to be, there should, there should be, oh man, nobody teaches you how to get into porn. Nobody teaches you how to get out of porn. You just kind of welcome to it and told to navigate it however you want to. And I wish that there was somebody who could have taught me when I came in. I wish there was somebody who could have said, Here's your stage name, here's your real name, here's how you keep them separate, this is how you live a life in duality, this is how you set yourself up for success. But there is it, you just kind of got to navigate it however you can. And when you're a multi-talented person like me and you just use your stage name as your stage name for everything, now, here I am, where Samantha Mack was the host of music festivals, Samantha Mack is the host of motorcycle shows, Samantha Mack was doing comedy shows, Samantha Mack has been in TV and magazines, all of that, not porn related. Samantha Mac was on the radio. And Samantha Mac did porn. So now that porn has dumped onto everything else I've done to the point where like a casting director can't even find my IMDb credits for actual movies because I'm shadow banned because porn tainted everything. And here's the thing, I don't actually think there's anything wrong with porn. I just wish it would stay in this box where it belongs so that kids didn't have access to it. So that when I started, it was a very private, discreet thing. You had to go into a forum. I was thinking about this today. If somebody wanted to buy my socks in 2010, even in, in 2002, you had to email me or MySpace me, and then you had to give references from other models you've worked with or fans that I might know. There had to be like a, a middleman that tells me that you're safe to deal with. Nowadays, you just throw yourself out there to everybody online and whoever gives you attention gives you attention. That's not great. Now, all that being said, there are people who have been extremely successful. There are five stars I can think off the top of my head who are extremely successful at what they do, but they have a, they have a, a format for where their real life is and where their performer life is. And some people have it on social media, some people don't have it on social media. Some people are extremely public but only under a certain name, and some people live as themselves all the time and are only doing porn when the director says action to the director says cut, and they go back to doing their, their real selves again. You know, like, there is no perfect format. Or you know what, I lie, maybe there is a perfect format and I just haven't figured it out yet. But I'm grateful that the information I'm giving people about wanting to be talked to more respectfully and my goals and the directions I'm going in and not being called a porn star anymore, I'm glad that that's being treated with respect. And I'm glad that I'm being given movie opportunities and comedy opportunities and hosting opportunities. I love that. I love that people are supporting me where I want to be supported. and. What I've learned from that is I need 
to create the launch pad. I need to say, this is where I wanna go, who can help me? And people who want to help me will help you. People who want to see you win will help you win. And if they think all you do is this one thing because you keep your mouth shut, then all they're gonna do is support that one thing. So if I don't wanna be here and I wanna do movies, television, film, commercials, comedies, you know, like music videos, did I say music videos? Music videos, music videos, music videos, they're dope. Um, I need to say that, I need to announce it, I need to put my energy into that, I need to put my practice over here and draw attention over here because the people who want to see me win will help me win and if I don't wave the flag, they're never gonna know. So keeping my mouth shut, not standing up to bad commenters online, not correcting people, not telling people, hey, check yourself, back up. You don't talk to me like that. Let's go forward now. Um, that's, it's okay for me to drive the bus. It's okay for me to redirect. It's okay for me to check people politely. And it is okay for me to want to reinvent myself. I reinvented myself so many times throughout my career. I have, I have been 265 pounds. I've been 145 pounds. I have, I have been blonde. I've been brunette. I've had braids in my hair. I've had wigs on my head. I have been tanned. I have been pasty ass white. I have been not tattooed. I have been tattooed. I have been the bad girl. I've been the good girl. I have been focused on dogs and charity. And I've been focused on, on rock and roll. It is okay to be multi-talented. It is okay to reinvent yourself. And right now as a 40 year old woman, I am reinventing myself. And I appreciate the people who are coming along with me for the ride. And just because I want more serious roles in television and film, etc., does not mean that I don't support girls who are in the same place I was 10 years ago. I absolutely do. Um, but that is stuff that we talk about on an adult platform. It's not stuff we talk about on a mainstream platform. And so separating those two things is important and I didn't know how important that was until I got older and and realized the repercussions of being an adult performer. I might write a book called The Repercussions of Porn. To be honest, I've been thinking about it all day <laughs> because there's stuff nobody tells you about. There are things in your real life that nobody tells you about. And when I was talking to a director today about where the hell my IMDb went and where my credits went, and he's like, uh, it's because somebody tagged you in a porno. By the way, your entire resume is ruined now. I was like, fuck, I wish somebody had told me. So every time I was on a film set, I could have used a different stage name or something, you know? So, or I could have managed my IMDb long before now. I said it was gonna be short and sweet and now it's long and sour. So, um, just another manic Monday. See you tomorrow.